Hi and welcome back to my channel and today I'm in search of an old abandoned palace and apparently it is meant to be haunted. Just waiting for my friend Emma and then we have to head into the jungle which is just by the side of me here and goodness knows what I'm going to find or what's going to happen but I'm excited so let's go. So we leave the city behind us and head into the jungle. Almost just walked into a cobweb. Well, actually, I say a cobweb. It was like huge, and I'm very scared of spiders. So perhaps, obviously, walking in the jungle either could combat my fears or could send me into a state of panic. At the moment, I'm going on the panic. Oh my god! Okay, it's just a, it's just a twig. Oh my god! Okay. Finally, stumbled across Istana Woodnyuk. Istana Woodnyuk originally was built in the late 19th century and it was owned by the Sultan Abu Bakr of Johor and he had it built for his fourth wife, Khadija. Woodnyuk later became a military hospital during World War II and it was bombed by the Japanese and there was also a fire in 2006. So I'm actually surprised the building's even standing. So Emma and I are here eventually, got through the, uh, the jungle. Um, we're gonna check if there's any ghosts and uh, head inside. Shall we go? As soon as you enter Woodnyuk, you do actually feel scared, or at least I did, and it's actually quite unusual. I've never felt scared in Singapore before, but this place is pretty eerie. It's so dark, I'm having to actually use a my torch to see where I'm going. <laughs> well, I don't think there's much hope of fixing the electrics. There may not be electrics. However, there is still a bathroom. Bath anyone? I mean, it's not a bad view from the bath, is it? So I'm outside now, and I think I'm at the back of what would have been the servants' quarters. Um, and obviously walking around is very ominous and um, a little bit scary. I've not seen any ghosts yet, um, but it is so strange to think that this was a family home. It was the family home of the Sultan. So the rumour is that it is haunted due to the fact that when the old palace became a military hospital in World War II, the Japanese bombed it and 700 people died. And it is believed that the spirits of those deceased still haunt this here building. And obviously walking around, you could actually believe that that could be the case. Although um, I'm yet to bump into a ghost. But let's head further in. 
Who knows what we'll find? It is so scary, absolutely petrified. But like all good Brits, how do you deal with fear? By a cup of tea. Tea, tea on the veranda. Not quite like the olden days, but almost. Too hot, it's too hot. Oh, it's really hot. <laughs> So whilst we were exploring the second floor, I couldn't help but worry about the state of the ceilings that were actually below our feet. Hmm. Mum and Dad, I'm so sorry if I fall through this roof. I would have fallen for the sake of art. And there certainly is a lot of art. Well, graffiti art. But the most stunning thing in my opinion in that building was the staircase. Are you? I'm still. Hi, Em. Can you get, get down? Oh. You can do it, Em. Yeah, so. Not as uh, stable as um, the first day is, Em. Oh Emma's stuck. Are you going up there? That's where I came from. Oh my god. Oh god. Obviously. I also had a go at climbing up the stairs, but these stairs are pretty rotten. If you do come and visit and want to walk up these stairs, just watch your footing. Just thought I'd show you that despite a fire and a bombing, the uh, remnants of the beautiful roof, which it was very famous for, this palace, um, there are fragments all over the house, so it is nice to touch a bit of the original roof. For somebody like me, who is literally so petrified of anything that crawls, particularly spiders, I've literally just seen a huge cockroach um, and I've walked through a jungle. I can't actually believe I've done that. That is the end of my trip to Istana Wudnyuk and it was a fantastic experience. I didn't see any ghosts. What I did see though was a fantastic home or what was once a wonderful palace and somebody's home and it was just nice to imagine what that would have been like many years ago. It's so unlike Singapore, graffiti everywhere, something you don't really see in Singapore. It's just far removed from the, uh, the clean and crisp and polished Singapore that we're all used to. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will catch you on the next one. Mm -hmm.